Hi everyone, welcome back to Sleepy Time Stories. So this is the accompanying video that goes with the read along to the story, Animals Over the Bridge, A Bedtime Story Routine by Janine Maxwell. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this book and how you can use it as a special tool to help your kiddos calm down and get ready for bed. So this book was actually created by Janine Maxwell for her children to help them to settle into bed and sleep well at night. She found that there were other people in her family and in her community who had similar difficulties in helping their kids wind down before bed. And so she shared this bedtime story and technique with them and found that it worked. And because of all of that, she decided that it might be a good idea to share so that other families can have access to this awesome routine. And thank goodness that she did because it's a really great tool. And so if you haven't yet checked out the book, please do so in the read along video. Uh, if you'd like to buy a copy, I've included that in the bios of each this video and the read along video. I'm just gonna read the little blurb that she read at the back. This bedtime activity calms the minds and bodies of young children. You can mimic each group of animals on the child's back as they lay face down in bed, from the base of the spine up to the neck starting with the prickly ants and finishing with the slow massaging steps of the elephants. Vary your routine, test your child's memory, that will help tire them out, or let their imagination run as wild as the jungle and they can choose their own favorite animals to go over their bridge. A quick massage before bedtime is never a bad idea. And so the idea is with each of the characters in this story, there is different massage type techniques that you can use to help to provide sensory stimulation to your child to help them focus on that before they go to bed, which will help calm them down. So we're just gonna go through the book and I'll show you little examples of what you can do for each character. So for the prickly ants, you could do something like this, the hopping frogs, the slithering snakes, the playful chimpanzees, the hip toes tiptoeing past, and the crocodile swaying to and fro, the rhino hooves, and the guinea fowl, the zebras, and the giraffes, the lions, and the elephants. And so if you have two parents present, you one can do the reading and one can do the little hand massage on the back. Or if you're good at memorizing, this is a great opportunity to practice that skill. You could be creative and fun and come up with other animals or let your child pick out which one they want next. I hope you enjoy this book. We really did at Sleepy Time Stories and found it incredibly helpful. All credit obviously goes to Janine Maxwell. She did a fantastic job with this book. You can purchase it online at various websites. It's also available at Indigo Chapters. So yes, please support this author and illustrator in this fantastic work. Check out this book and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Until next time, sweet dreams. Mm -hmm.